good to be back with you today. Yesterday, we looked at that one verse, uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, about judge not lest you be judged. And we talked about what judging was not. Now today, I want to talk to you about what judging is. First of all, it's when you decide why somebody's in the shape that they're in. For example, Job's friends. Initially, Job's friends came and sat alongside of him and they all wept together and they were a real encouragement to him. Then they started trying to figure out why Job was going through what he was going through. And they were all wrong. And Job basically said, you're like a bunch of worthless physicians. You're not helping at all. You're just making things worse. And so when you decide that somebody is in the shape that they're in, when you decide why, that's judging. James said a really interesting thing about rich people that come into church and sit down. He said, when you give special privileges to the rich person, you're like judges with wrong motives. Now, where's that come from? Well, in that day and time, people decided that if you were rich, it was because you were godly. And if you were poor, it was because you were not. And so if somebody rich would come in, they would go, ah, obviously a very godly person. Let's give him special privileges. And here's somebody that's poor. Obviously he's poor for some reason. And so let's make him just sit here at our feet. And James said, you're not supposed to do that. That's why when a rich young ruler came to Jesus and Jesus, when he said, what good things should I do? Jesus said, oh my, that's not the way it is. You gotta believe the gospel. But he said, if you wanna do good things to go to heaven, you gotta be perfect. And he knew that that guy loved his money. And so he turned him away. And then he said to the disciples, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to go to heaven. And you know what the disciples said? Who then can be saved? In other words, they had in their minds, rich people are godly people, and so if anybody's going to go to heaven, it's going to be them. And they were wrong. And Job's friends were wrong. So when you decide why somebody's going through what they're going through, that's judging. When you decide the motives behind somebody's actions, that's judging. Oh, he's just in that for the money. Oh, she just did that for attention. You don't know that. That's just an assumption on your part. And lots of times you're wrong. That's judging. And finally, when you criticize somebody for the details of some kind of a commandment of, of God's word. For example, in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9, it says, Women should dress in modest apparel have a pastor buddy whose daughter came to church wearing walking shorts. They're very, very wide. They come all the way down to the knee. Uh, they could be used as a tent, you know, for some little kid. And it was shorts. So he got criticized for that. Yet he said, in the same church on the same morning, there were girls wearing dresses that covered a whole lot less than the walking shorts did. The principle is modesty. And when you decide what modesty is for you, that's fine. Romans thir uh, 14, let's see, 15, oh shoot, 15, four, <laughs> 15, five. Let everyone be fully persuaded in his own mind. That's fine for you. But when you start telling me the details, how I ought to be, that's judging. So what should we judge? Well, the Bible says in the book of Romans, judge this that you not be a stumbling block to somebody. Judge what you can do to be a blessing to them. But when you decide motives, or you decide why they're going through what they're going through, or you decide that they need to follow the same details that you do, that's judging. Don't do that. God bless you.